Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Wildcat Den. As you see, tip-off about to get underway here. That ball is won by the Hornets now. Hill's going to bring it up. Hill now finds Moody. Moody now Revard with it. Nice dump pass down to Lincoln Mitchell for the score. Lincoln Mitchell. He gets two points. Now up with it. That's Devin Gleason. Gleason now. He finds Stebris. Ooh, inside. Nice basket there by Silas Kane. He'll get the score and then a quick score at the other end for the Wildcats. Mitchell, man. Now Gleason with it. Gleason there. He'll find Antillian. Antillian here near side finds Dash. Dash now back to Antillian. Screen around Stebris. Oh, poked away there. Brendan Moody all over it. Now Gleason, Gleason tries the three, that's up no good. Rebound down, that was a nice rebound there by Silas Kane. Oh, and up and he gets it. Silas Kane with the basket there. Two for two on the evening. He's got four, now Moody with it. Moody with a nice, Moody with a nice in out dribble. Now Baker with it. Baker now finds Mitchell. Mitchell now Baker with it. Baker finds Moody. Oh, Moody's gonna tee up a deep three. That's up, no good. Poked away. Baker there tried to fight for it under the hoop. He poked it away, so now Gleason's gonna push the pace. Gleason now finds Antillian. Antillian on the far side. He'll look, now he'll find Oh, inside, poked away, almost lost it. Moody, they're gonna say he touched it last. We're not streaming live. Now up, that is Dash with it. Oh, inside, ooh, nice back. Nice fight around the basket there for Silas Kane. He's had a good night, he gets the steal right back. Now Kane, turn around, no good. Rebound down, Baker. Jaden Baker, that's a heck of a job. He'll skip it up to their center. Tyler Revard thought he got fouled. Mitchett, nice follow, that's up, no good. Nice fight under the basket. Now Revard goes up and gets it for two. Tyler Revard. He's got four on the evening. Nice job by Revard, picks up his second basket. Excellent, very skilled scorer for these Wildcats around the hoop. Oh, it's stolen away by Baker. Now Baker, he's gonna find Hill on the cut. Hill goes up off the window, gets it for two. Xavier Hill, nice cut there by Hill to just sprint the floor, take it all the way in and lay it in. Now Gleason with it. Gleason takes it inside up. Oh, nice take there, Devin Gleason. Strong take to the rack with the left hand. Poked away there by Aiden Dash. Now we're gonna have number one, Vaughn Wild. He's gonna check in for number 14, Silas Kane for the Enosburg Hornets. Revard now, Revard finds Baker. Baker now, he'll find Hill. Hill with it, he finds Moody here on the near side. Moody, nice dump pass inside, Revard up off the window, gets it. Whew. The Enosburg Hornets gotta find a body for Tyler Revard soon, he's got six quick points. Gleason with it now. Gleason nice and out dribble. Gleason now he'll find Dash. Dash takes it inside. Nice floater. That's up no good. Rebound down Hill. One thing this Hornet team does well, they rebound the ball and they like to kick out in transition. Revard takes it inside. He's fouled hard. That foul is gonna come back to Vaughn Wild. He'll pick up his first. Ooh, Revard, no good on the free throw. An uncharacteristic like miss, miss there for Revard. 
Rivard usually has a nice touch anywhere, you know, from that range and in. Rivard, second one good to go. So Tyler Rivard with seven early points for the Wildcats. Now Gleason, nice in-out dribble. He, he finds Stebris. Now finds Antillian. Antillian back to Stebris, turn around mid-range Jay, up off the top of the backboard, no good. Rebound down Rivard, he's getting hacked. Heard he'll pull it out, he'll find Hill, quick trigger on the three, that's up no good off the back iron. Antillian, nice rebound, he'll push the pace now for the Hornets. Tried to put the moves on Hill there, couldn't find him, he'll find Devin Gleason though. Very skilled scorer and player for Enosburg. Inside, Wild gets blocked. Now Hill, he's gonna push the pace like the Wildcats like to. Rivard up, gets it to go. Tyler Rivard with nine points. He's a mismatch for almost any team that he plays. Head coach Wyatt LaRose for the Enosburg Hornets. He'll take a timeout. Take a minute, I wanna read off some uh, upcoming games for the Hayes and Union Wildcats. Actually, I don't have that part of the roster with me. Sorry about that, folks. I know Friday night, the People's Academy Wolves will be in town. A huge Route 15 rivalry that night here on Friday. It'll be me and hopefully Lance Hall will be back on the call. Always fun when uh, Lance gets to call the games with me, so. But flying solo tonight. We have Jim on tech. <laughs> As you see, it'll be Enosburg ball. Stebris is going to inbound. Now inbound, he's gonna find Gleason. Gleason with it, he'll dribble this far wing handoff for in. Antillian, now dash with it. Dash, nice fake. Oh, tried to go inside. Almost lost to Dash, gets it back, floats it up, no good. He'll get his rebound, now he'll go out. Gleason, quick trigger on the three, up, no good. Brendan Moody, smallest guy on the court, gets the board. Now Mitchett with it. Inside, Rebard spins to the rack and gets it to go. Tyler Rebard has 11 points tonight for the Wildcats. Boy, he's on fire. Now Antillian with it. He'll find Wild. Wild now fakes it. Goes up, stolen away by Moody. Now Hill. Ooh, Hill, nice take to the rack, scores it. Xavier Hill with four. Nice job so far for Xavier Hill, and the Wildcat offense has been ramped up and rolling early. Gleason with it now for the Hornets. Gleason step back, three up, no good. Nice fight, Baker with the rebound. Baker now finds a sprint in Moody. Moody almost lost it, Moody fights for it. Inside, Rivard up through the contact, <laughs> gets it to go. Man, Rivard with 13 already, it might be a long, long night if this keeps up for Tyler Rivard. T-Rex as we call him here at HCTV, or rebound Rivard, either one works. Rivard now, he's gonna push the pace. Oh, nice bounce pass to a cutting Jaden Baker for the two. Now Mitchett, oh, he gets blocked. Moody gets the rebound. Now they fight for it, Gleason. I think that foul is gonna come back to Lincoln Mitchett. Yep, that foul is gonna come back to Lincoln Mitchett. He'll pick up his first. Now sub in for the Wildcats. We are gonna have Gabe Mitchett. He's gonna come in for Jaden Baker. Jaden Baker, good to see him back tonight. Still kind of recovering from that sickness. It's a 21 to six lead for the Wildcats. 122 left to go in the first quarter. Antillian with it. He'll find Grady Gervais. Gervais now back to Antillian. Now Gleason with it. Gleason tries to rip through, shot up, no good. Rebound down for him. Now here Antillian with it, near side. Oh, he's gonna let the jumper go. That's up, no good, rebound down, Mitchell, whoa! Antillian. 
Oh, Antillian sprinting down the floor, tried to poke the ball away, got a little bit too much contact there on Rivard. He'll pick up his first. Came in there trying to poke at the ball. Knocked Rivard down. Inside, Rivard spins to the rack, scores it. Make that 15 for Tyler Rivard. Now Gleason with it. He's up, fouled. He'll head to the line. 23 to 6 lead for the Wildcats. Gleason, an excellent shooter for this Enosburg uh, Hornets team. Hornets are hoping to get him going and get some buckets. Just tough. This Hazen defense has played very, very tight up on the Enosburg Hornets tonight. Wildcats are known for being a tremendous defensive team. Gleason at the line, his first one. Up and good. So Gleason's first free throw is good. Now Jaden Baker, he'll come in for Lincoln Mitchell. Gleason, that's up no good. Rebound down there by uh, Silas Kane. Now Gleason, nice rip and drive. Couldn't score it at the rack though. I think he'll want that one back. Now Hill, oh, nice no-look pass inside for Rivard. Wow, Xavier Hill looking like John Stockton with the fake pass inside for Rivard, who has 17 of his team's 25. Now Antillian to, uh, to inbound. Oh, tried to throw it into Silas Kane. Now up the court, Moody at the buzzer, three up, no good. So after one, it's a 25 to seven lead for the Hazen Wildcats. Last week, Brendan Moody had 20 points against the Oxbow Olympians. Olympians, that was another good night. Xavier Hill, I think, had 10. Rivard had 20 that night. As well, it was just just an excellent all-around game for the Wildcat offense in that game. As you see, both teams are going to take a chance uh, time here to talk things over in between quarters. Be right back. Jim, do you have the sponsor sheet or no? Thank you. Take a quick second to thank our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Big thanks to all our sponsors. We could not be us without you. Second quarter about to get underway. Been a wicked, wicked quarter for Tyler Rebart. 17 first quarter points, are you kidding me? Now bringing it up, that is gonna be Aiden Dash. He'll find uh, Gervais on the far side. That is Dash with it. Dash handoff for Antillion. Oh, Dash now. Nash looking, he'll go inside, find Kane. Kane up, gets it to go, turnaround for Silas Kane. He's got six on the evening. Good night for Silas Kane. Shot up, no good there by the Wildcats. Now Antillian's gonna bring it up. He's been the main point guard tonight. That's gonna be Loisel. Antillian, mid-range jumper, that's up, no good. Rebound down there by Aiden Dash. Grady Gervais, he'll try the three. That's up, no good. Rebound down for Gabe Mitchell. Now Hill's gonna bring it up. Nice interior pass. Oh, Rivard, he gets stuffed by Aiden Dash under the basket. Rivard's been a tough task to stop down there, but Dash had an answer. Hill to inbound now. 
Hill inside, goes to Rivard, blocked again. Rivard's gonna stick with it though, got the rebound, went back up, he's fouled. That foul is gonna come back to Aiden Dash, his first. His first team's third. So Rivard at the line shooting two. First one good by Rivard. Rivard second one good, so Rivard drains them both. <clears throat> 19 tonight for Tyler Rivard. So now we will get to see Ryan Morrison come in. Ryan Morrison, the good junior for the Wildcats. He was in double figures last game. Gleason with it now. Gleason picked up tight by that Wildcat defense. Ooh, Dash. Dash was fouled there. Gleason now picked up heavy by Carter Hill, uh, Xavier Hill. Up, no good, rebound down Morrison, he's gonna chin it. Nice fight for it there by Gleason though, way to put a couple hands on that and try and take it back. Aaron Hill very adamant there. Even though his Wildcats got the ball back, now Moody with it. Couple notable alums in attendance tonight, fabulous Freddie Larson and the big red machine, Elliot Kimball in attendance tonight to see the Wildcats play. Oh, that was a three up by Sully Laflamme who checked in the game. Now, oh, Morrison. You could have heard that slap from Morrisville. <clears throat> so Morrison's gonna head to the line. He's shooting two. Laflamme, I didn't see check into the game, but he's out there. That foul is gonna be on 14, Silas Kane, his first for the Hornet. Uh, yeah, the Hornets. Sorry about it, folks, for any of you in attendance that it uh, said the bees tonight. That was a mistake. First free throw, good by Morrison. 6.07 left in the second, 28 to nine lead for the Wildcats. Morrison now, oh, second free throw, couldn't get that one to roll in. Now Enosburg's gonna bring it up, that is Antillian. Antillian there, he'll find Dash. Oh, Dash, nice move there on Moody. Dumps it inside. Oh, that's up no good. Rebound down there for Vaughn Wild. Nice job by Aiden Dash to sell it. That'll be a foul. So Dash is gonna head to the line and shoot three. Aiden Dash, that foul is gonna be on Brendan Moody, his first for the Wildcats. Team's third. Little heavy there off the back iron, but Dash gets it to fall. Friendly roll here, these Wildcat rims in the Wildcat den. Ooh, second one, no good. Jaden Baker now, he'll check in for Brendan Moody. And Tyler Rivard's gonna check in for Gabe Mitchett. We have not seen the, uh, we did not see the Mitched trifecta last game. Maybe we'll see it tonight, which is, that is the three brothers of Morgan Mitched, Gabe Mitched, and Lincoln Mitched. See Coach Wyatt LaRose for the Hornets calling out. Everybody know their match? And Dash knocks that one down, so Aiden Dash goes two for three at the line, some steady shooting there. Up to Court Hill with it, he's picked up by Antillian. Laflame with it now. Outside Baker, Laflame back to Hill. Hill with it, you see Hill the lefty, a sharp shooting lefty. Xavier Hill the thrill, as I call him. Baker, oh nice dump pass inside, Morrison bodies him, can't get it to go though. Rebound down there, nice job by Aiden Dash. 
Antillian. He'll find Dash. Dash faked the three. Back out to Antillian. He'll shoot, step into a mid range. That rolls around and falls. Danny Antillian getting, the off getting a little offense going for the Hornets. Oh, nice dump pass inside. Laflame tried it. The Hornets were right there, though. Now Gleason's going to push the pace. Oh, Gleason putting the moves on Hill. Outside Antillian, the hot hand. That's up no good. Brevard now is going to find Hill, who's going to push the pace. Hill dump off, finds Baker. Inside Morrison, up at the rack, scores it. Ryan Morrison, his first basket of the evening. He's got three points, though. He hit a free throw. And Tillian, a little bump there by Baker, but he'll eat it. Inside, that's Kane. Kane through the contact, can't get it. Court now, Rivard. He'll find Hill. He'll say, why not? I'll shoot that. Up off the back iron, no good. Hill, when he shoots, it's almost automatic. Same with Moody or Baker. Now Gleason. Gleason outside. He'll find Dash. Three up and good. Aiden Dash buries the trifecta. He's got five. Now a little float piece there by Xavier Hill. Couldn't get it off the back iron. It'll remain Wildcat ball. See a couple subs coming in for the Hornets. Gabe Mitchett in for Ryan Morrison and Brendan Moody in for Sully LaFlame. The freshman plays both. And JV and Varsity inbound there. That's Gabe Mitchett. Side he'll find Rivard. Floats it up, gets it to go. Rivard with 21 smackaroons tonight for <laughs> the Wildcats. He's had a quiet second quarter compared to the 17 in his in the first quarter, floater up, no good. Rebound, Gleason hauls in the rebound. Nice job there by Gleason, good rebound. Up, Antillian missed it. Gleason showing off his athleticism, hauling in the board. Oh, nice take there by Xavier Hill at the rack. He's got six. 34-16 lead for the Wildcats. 3.03 left to go here in the second quarter. Oh, dump pass inside. Oh, that's a nice pass. Baker through the contact, scores it. Jaden Baker, his second bucket of the evening. He's got four. Nice pass by Rivard. That's another thing Rivard does so well. Very skilled, good passer as well. Not just a great scorer at the rack. And an excellent rebounder. Enosburg loses it out of bounds, so the Wildcats will get it back. Morgan Mitchell. He's gonna check in for Xavier Hill. And now that is Dustin Piangirelli. He's gonna check in for Jaden Baker. Inbound now, Mitchid. He'll go back to Moody. Outside finds Gabe Mitchid inside. Oh, Rivard was getting held a little bit under there. He goes inside, he's fouled. You see, Rivard just uses his size and his speed and his strength to his advantage around the hoop. That's what makes him so tough to guard because he's so quick and he's just such a good scorer around the rack that it makes him tough to guard. Rivard, first free throw, tickled the twine. Hazen hasn't had many jump shots tonight. They've been getting a lot of stuff right around the basket. Rivard with 22. Make that 23 for Tyler Rivard. Now up with it, Gleason. Gleason, nice in-out dribble. Inside, he found Stebris. Enosburg's gonna keep it. They say Hazen touched it last there. Poked it out of bounds. Oh, Gleason had Stebris on the cut, couldn't find him. Now that is Loisel with it. Gleason, there's that jump shot. Devin Gleason. He's got five tonight. Oh, inside, Mitchid. See, they're almost, seems like they're doubling him in the post. He's fouled down low. You see, that's one thing 
You know, Rivard, double or not in the post, he's going up with it. <laughs> Thirty-eight, eighteen lead for the Wildcats. Enosburg trails by twenty with two oh one left to go here in the second quarter. Rivard free throw tickled the twine. Rivard now. He'll lie the basket. Second shot up. Second shot no good. Rivard gets the rebound though. There's the rebound. Rivard we were talking about three up. Moody. Oh, that did everything but go in. Rivard now outside found Piangirelli. Now Moody, he'll find Morgan Mitchell. Now Moody with it. Back to Piangirelli. Oh, Piangirelli stuffed by Gleason. Nice rebound by Moody. Oh, inside Gabe Mitchell. Oh, that's up. Almost went in. Gabe Mitchell. Boy, how close was he to getting that one to fall. Now Gleason with it. Gleason almost double team there. He'll go up. He's fouled. Let's see who that foul comes back to. It'll come back to Gabe Mitch. It is first. First free throw by Gleason. Good to go. Gleason second shot, eyes the basket, shot on the way and good to go. So Devin Gleason leads all Hornet scorers tonight. He has seven. He still trailed by 19 with 118 left to go here in the second. Now Baker with it. Baker now he'll find Moody. Oh Moody, nice dump pass inside Rivard. He's gonna score that, you bet. Tyler Rivard is automatic around the basket. 26 for him tonight. Great night for him. Now Gleason with it for the Hornets. Gleason now sends Antillian through the lane. Stebris with it now. Stebris, that shot's up no good. Now Hill skip pass up, poked away there by Antillian. Oh, Rivard to the rack, scores it. If you give Rivard any room down there, count the two points, because he ain't missing. Gleason with it now. Gleason nice and out dribble. Gleason now, as soon as he drives, he's doubled. Stebris with it. Stebris, oh, nice skip pass inside, finds Wild. Wild takes it up, oh! One too many steps there for Vaughn Wild before he went up. Now Hill with it. Hill, he'll find Moody. Moody outside finds Baker. Oh, his brother would have shot it from there. Baker, he'll let that one go. That's up no good. So at halftime, folks, it is a 43-20 lead for the Hayes and Wildcats. I'll take a second here and read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. GMTCC.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. We'll be right back with all your action in the second half. And welcome back, folks. We get ready to get underway here from the Wildcat Den here at Hazen Union in Hardwick, Vermont, December 28th, 2022. Hill quick three. Oh man. Carter Hill right up, or Xavier Hill. I don't know why I keep saying Carter. He's in attendance tonight. <laughs> Carter graduated. That's Xavier. Xavier Hill the thrill. Knocks it down. Gleason with it. He'll find Antillian. Now Gleason. Gleason nice and out dribble. Gleason inside through the contact up no good. 
Moving down there for Mitchett, he'll find Hill. Far side, oh, Moody had a nice look. Hill will try another one. That's up, no good. Chased down by Rivard, he'll turn around, shoot the midi. He's blocked. Now that rebound is down for Peter Stebris. Now dash inside, dash floater, no good. So I think that foul is gonna come back to Mr. Jaden Baker. Oh, never mind, there's not, no foul there. I was gonna say, I would be shocked if there was. Gleason inbound, he'll find Stebris. Outside with it, that's Dash. Now Gleason steps into the three and knocks it down. Devin Gleason, first Hornet in double figures. That's one player these Wildcats cannot let get going because Devin Gleason is nasty. Now Mitchett, he'll find a Rivard. Moody tees up the three. That's up off the front iron, no good. Stebris. Oh, nice save by Baker. Moody up, missed it. Rivard didn't though. Good follow for Rivard and he's got a 30 ball tonight. Could have been a foul there on Baker too, but <clears throat> no call. And Tillian with it. He's picked up heavy double by Hill and Baker. Inside, Kane. Oh, nice take there by Stebris. He is fouled. He's gonna have to line that foul. He's gonna come back to Jaden Baker, his first. Oh, and taken away by Moody. Baby Brendan Moody, one of three. His father, Flying Tiger sportsman legend at Thunder Road. And speaking of which, Brendan Moody tickles the twine. But yes, his father, for you Thunder Road racing fans, is a Lenny Shoe and Apparel Flying Tiger legend and a bucket and a bruise for T-Rex Tyler Rivard. Rivard with 32, you hear the you can't guard him chants from the uh, student section for the Wildcats. 53-23 lead for the Wildcats, 5.48 to go in the third. Ooh, Rivard, that's up, no good. Nice rebound there by Silas Kane. Now Gleason's gonna push the pace. He's picked up full court by Rivard. And Tillian with it. Now he'll find Stebris inside. Nice, nice cut there by Antillian up off the window, no good. Hill's gonna push the pace. Oh, now Moody's spin move by Rivard, he's blocked. Tyler Rivard with yet another one, 34 for Rivard. Folks, he's going for the record tonight. Dimitri Vasiliotis' record of 46. And a nice little floater there by Gleason. He's got 12. Yes, and a timeout. Wyatt LaRose will take one. Wyatt LaRose, former Enosburg Hornet, played four years of basketball at NVU Johnson, shot uh, excellent three-point shooter in his own right. Now we'll take a second. Read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. I'm James Salvis, folks. Been on the call tonight. We have Arthur on camera. He's done a phenomenal, phenomenal job tonight. <clears throat> Thank you to everybody who's going to watch this when it comes out tomorrow or whenever this comes out. And thank you to everybody in attendance. Big crowd here at Hazen Union. A lot of Enosburg fans made the long trip up from Enosburg Falls. Enosburg back in D2 this year for basketball. They flip-flop between D2 and D3. Now Mitchett, he'll find Jaden Baker. Baker has been a little shy on the trigger this year. Foul there, I think that's coming back to Lincoln Mitchell.
Yep, that is going to come back to Lincoln Mitch. It is third tonight for the Wildcats. He's, he's in a little bit of trouble. Now Dash with it. Dash, nice screen there by Gleason. Dash inside through the contact. He's fouled. They're going to call a block underneath. Call the block there on Tyler Rivard. Pick up his first foul of the evening for the Wildcats. So Aiden Dash is going to head to the line and shoot two here. Dash first free throw up, and it's good. Caught a piece of the back iron and in. Fifty-five twenty-six lead for the Wildcats. Four thirty-five left to go in the third quarter. So Dash hit his first, missed his second. There's Moody with it. Moody now, Baker now. Baker with it, finds Hill. Hill back up top, Baker. I think uh, Aaron Hill and the Wildcats want to have Baker start shooting the ball a little bit more. Jaden Baker's been very shy on the trigger, but that man has not been. Xavier Hill from downtown buries it. He's got 12 on the evening, the second Wildcat in double figures. Swish, tickle the twine. Full court pass, looking for Moody, couldn't see him down there. And no, folks, that's not supposed to be a, a mean joke or anything at, at Brendan Moody. He's just the smallest guy on the court, so it's hard to see when you get a taller defender and Peter Stebris. He'll knock down the trifecta. Now, oh, Rivard, uncharacteristic miss at the rack. Rivard will almost never miss those. You get in the ball anywhere within two to five feet of the, of the cup. And, Pretty much going to drop it in. The Piston Cup. For you Disney Pixar's Cars fans. Rivard, first free throw, man. Rivard is, let me tell you, Lance, you are missing a great one tonight. Rivard is having one of the best performances I've seen in a very long time by a high school player, by a Hazen Wildcat. Isaiah Baker had some nights like this. Oh, Rivard gets the roll. He's got 36, folks. 10 off the record. Oh, down the court, Aiden Dash just slipped the defense. Wide open, he's got eight. Now Moody with it. Moody finds Hill. Hill now, he'll find Gabe Mitchell. Now Baker, he'll let that one go. Ooh, up and no good, Jaden Baker. You know, hasn't taken a lot of threes, so good to see him shoot one there. It's the Baker way. They're going to call a charge there. Foul is going to come back to Danny Antillian. Pick up his second foul of the evening. Number five, Danny Antillian. Mitchett's going to inbound. He'll find Hill. He'll now skip pass back to Mitchell. They'll find Rivard. Rivard now, he finds Moody. They go back to Rivard inside, up through the contact. Thought he was fouled. Oh, Rivard, ooh, I thought he rifled a missile off the Enosburg defender and saved it, but. Rivard, the, one of the rare four sport athletes here at uh, Hazen. Rivard plays golf, soccer, basketball, and baseball. Inside with it. That was Brady Colburn, or Braden Colburn. Did you see he scored? Vaughn Wild and Gabe Mitchell's gonna get the basket there for the Wildcats. Folks, I'm not sure who scored that. Buckets are coming in rapid and wild here. Oh, nice rebound by Rivard. He's gonna turn, shoot it. Up, no good, rebound down. Moody. Oh, Gabe Mitchell, nice up fake inside. Rivard floats it up, gets it to go. Tyler Rivard is unreal.
Gleason three up, no good. Up the court now, Moody dumps it inside. Gabe Mitchett, he's fouled. I'm just gonna say that that last basket for the Enosburg Hornets <laughs> went to Devin Gleason, so we'll just give him 14 on the evening. Who's that foul gonna come back to? First free throw good for Gabe Mitchell. Now Sully Laflame is going to come in. 133 left in the third, a 65 36 lead for the Wildcats. And Tillian's going to take a seat for the Hornets. He's had a heck of a game tonight. He's worked really, really hard. Second free throw, no good. Oh, Mitchell. So Gabe Mitchell has three. Rivard with a nice rebound there. See, Wyatt LaRoe's unhappy with that one, as are the Enosburg Hornet fans. Mitchett inside. Ooh, he'll find Rivard up off the window, gets it. Folks, Tyler Rivard has broke, has broke into the 40s. That's an even 40 for Tyler Rivard. He had 28 at halftime, folks. Oh, Rivard, don't time, and he gets it. Tyler Rivard. Oh man, everybody's been waiting for Rivard to finally dunk it. Rivard has got rim stuffed every time he's tried. And Rivard hammered that one home, folks. Boy. Tyler Rivard threw down the hammer under the basket. Got the steal, and I mean, Rivard's been so close to dunking a couple times, and that one he flushed with authority. Mitchell, nice save under the basket. Oh, and there, I think Gleason was fouled up at the top of the key. They didn't call it. Whew, Rivard is exhausted. Ryan Morrison's gonna come in for him. 42 for Tyler Rivard. Folks, if he doesn't play the rest of the game, 42 is a dang good performance tonight, folks. Now Mitchell, he'll find Baker. Make her back to Mitchell. He'll skip one over to Hill. One side finds Morrison. Outside Xavier Hill, he'll find Gabe Mitchell. Outside Baker, ooh, should have shot it. Thought he had a nice look. Jaden Baker off to a little bit of a slow start this season for the Wildcats, but he'll get going. Three up, no good, rebound down Mitchell. Baker with it, nice. Interior pass, Gabe Mitch it up, no good, gets the rebound. So after three quarters, it's a 69-39 lead for the Hayes and Union Wildcats. Folks, I just want to say that Rivard dunk was electric. This place erupted on that Rivard dunk. Because like I said, he's he's came up kind of rim grazed a couple times, just missed it. Ball kind of slipped out of his hands and he laid it in. But that time he flushed it. He, he put that thing down with some authority. So I'll take a second and read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. GMTCC.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Applications are now open for any GMTCC program. They have programs like Allied Health, Automotive Technology, Business Administration, Computer Networking Technology, Construction Technology, Cooperative Education, Creative Media, Art and Design, Culinary Arts, elect Electrical Technology, Sustainable Agriculture and Food System, Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning, Forestry and Land Management, and Exploratory Pre-Technology. So, if you're interested in that, go to gmtcc.lnsd.org to apply to any one of those wonderful programs. Again, we have Arthur on camera tonight. He's done a great job. <coughs> Gleason brings it up now. He'll find Grady Gervais. Gervais now outside finds Gleason. Gleason inside, float piece, gets it to go. Devin Gleason with 19. Upside, oh, Morrison almost got fouled. Nice follow there by Baker. 
Jaden Baker, he's got six. Baker's just played well tonight, and Tillian with it. Hand off, Gleason, three up. He got it! Devin Gleason, I said, man, don't let him get hot, folks. He's got 22, three up, Baker, that's no good. Rebound down, Rivard, oh! Rivard, he'll get it, spins back to the rack, no good. Missed it, and now he lays it in. Tyler Rivard got three rebounds on that one play, and he's got 44, folks, two away from the record. Gleason, three up. No good, Rivard was the hot hand, or er, Gleason was the hot hand. I mean, Rivard's the hot hand, too. Ooh, Baker, you know who they want to get the ball to. Now Laflame with it, he'll find Hill. Oh, stolen away, Gleason, nice awareness. Aaron Hill, as good a statistician as he is, I think he knows how close Rivard is to setting a school record. Inside, oh, Morrison missed it. Oh, Rivard got the rebound, oh, laid it in. Just missed it, rolled around and couldn't fall. Rivard with a chance to tie the school record at the free throw line. Uh, Dimitri Vasiliadis had 46 in a game here, folks, and that's a record I did not think was ever gonna be touched. And Rivard is two away. And Tyler's gotta have close to 20 boards, too. It's Ooh, Rivard, a little soft on the front, just off the front rim, but, cause he's shooting, he'll get a little extra minutes. Brendan Moody's gonna check in for Jaden Baker. Think they wanna give Rivard this free throw here and get him one more bucket. Then he can sit the rest of the evening. Ooh, Rivard missed them both. Rivard gets the rebound. Hill, three up. Oh, baby. Xavier Hill from way downtown, he's got 15. Good night for the X-Man. Xavier Hill, Hill the Thrill. Oh, they're gonna leave Rivard out there. I thought Mitch had coming down to the table was gonna come in for him, but Mitch will come in for Sully Laflame. I think Rivard just wants to play at this point. <laughs> Inbound now, top of the key, that's Gervais. Gervais finds Antillian. Antillian here, Gleason, he'll get, he gets the three off quick. That's up, no good. Morrison with the rebound, pushing the pace. Now Hill, Hill finds Mitchett. Oh, he's up, no good. Ooh, they're gonna say that's off Rivard. So now number 10, Peter Stebris. Man, it'll be a shame if they can't get Rivard at least one more bucket to tie the record. I think, I don't, I don't think he just wants to tie it, folks. I think he wants the whole dang thing. Oh, with Morgan Mitchett coming down to the table though. Rivard's night might be coming to a close. Oh, Stebris, nice pass to Antillian. Turns around, floats it up, gets it. Danny Antillian, he's got four points. He's played hard tonight. Charge there on Xavier Hill. Oh, Rivard's gonna remain in. Morgan Mitchett in for Brendan Moody. But that foul is gonna come back to Xavier Hill, his first. You see, Aaron Hill has a lot of trust in Lincoln Mitchett playing him with three fouls. <clears throat> Gleason, he finds Dash. Side Antillian, three up, no good. Rebound down there by Stebris. Oh, Stebris, that's poked up in the air. Gleason chases it down. Oh, Gleason from another area code. Kevin Gleason with 25. Boy, that kid's got a sweet lefty jump shot, let me tell you. Oh, poked away. Gleason, he'll lay it in, he's got 27. So Gleason having a good game in his own right. And a foul. So we will flame down to the table, 76-51. Lead for the Wildcats. And oh, Ryan Morrison's gonna check out. Keep your eyes on number 15 Rivard, folks. I'm always eager to see if he's coming out. 76-51 lead for the Wildcats. 4.53 left to go in the game. Down now Hill. I think, I think they're guarding Rivard a little bit tighter there, though. 
making it tougher to get the ball into him. Gleason, quick three, and he gets it. So slowly but surely, the Enosburg Hornets starting to make this a little bit of a game. And a 30-second timeout there for Aaron Hill. Aaron Hill about as good as it comes when it comes to coaches. I'm going to take a second to thank our sponsors here. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Folks, it's been a good one here <coughs> at the Wildcat Den. You see Enosburg starting to come alive here the last four minutes of this, this half. This could really turn into a ball game here, folks. Devin Gleason, the steady three-point shooter. Did you see Tyler Rivard right by the Enosburg Falls Hornets bench? Did you see the Hornets are coached by Wyatt LaRose, Ron LaRose, and Damon Bashaw. Mitch it now, he'll find Hill. Up Rivard. Oh, Rivard. Oh, I like the unselfishness. I just don't think Baker finished his cut, or Baker wasn't quite at the point that Rivard thought he was at. You see some key players out there for the Hornets as, or for the Wildcats as the Hornets try and scrape back in. Rivard, he'll chin it. Oh, nice fake. We'll go to Hill. Back to Rivard. Rivard back to Hill. Hill will break it. Now Mitch it, he'll find Rivard. Jump shot, good to go. Tyler Rivard with 46 points, folks. Yes, 46. Oh, and a nice turnaround by Antillian. Enosburg hitting some shots here down the stretch. Now Morgan Mitchell, ooh, looked for Rivard. Now skip pass finds his big brother, the, the mayor, Lincoln Mitchell. <coughs> Inside Rivard. Oh, he's going to go to work. Ooh, Rivard's fouled. <laughs> Folks, Tyler Rivard headed to the free throw line. What a game he's had tonight. And that foul is going to come back to number 14, Silas Kane. He'll pick up his third foul of the evening for the Hornets. Rivard eyes the basket. Three, oh, free throw is no good by Tyler Rivard. 78-56 lead for the Wildcats. 3.21 to go in the game. Rivard takes a couple dribbles. Eyes the hoop, second free throw. No good, Rivard missed them both. Man, Tyler Rivard had a chance at the record there, folks, but missed them both. He needed one free throw. Oh, Gabe Mitchell coming down and <laughs> Rivard's evening could be over. Oh, no, he's coming in for the big brother, the mayor, Lincoln Mitchell. They're going to leave. I think Aaron Hill is going to try and milk as much out of Tyler Rivard as he can tonight. Inbound there, Aiden Dash. He'll find Antillian. Now Gleason picked up by Gabe Mitchell, the good defender, the junior for the Wildcats. Gleason, step back three. He hit the ground hard. Man, you really felt the ground shake on that foul. Gleason's headed to the line for three. I believe that's going to come back to, yep, Gabe Mitchell is second. See Aaron Hill eyeing down his bench looking for anybody he hasn't put in the game yet. He's played everybody. 78-56 lead for the Wildcats. Three minutes to go. Gleason free throw up and good. That's 31 for Gleason, so he's had a good game tonight too. Devin Gleason started off a little slow, but I told you folks, if he got that jump shot going, look out. And boy, did he. Gleason missed the third one. 32 
points for Gleason. Hill with it. Hill up, he'll find Baker. Ooh, Hill. Hill, nice fake. Mitch it now, he'll find Hill. Inside, Rivard. Oh, Rivard loses it. Oh, Rivard didn't touch the backboard, fortunately. That would have been a goal 10. Skip past Baker now. Finds Gabe Mitchell. Now outside, Jaden Baker. Ooh, they're looking, trying to find Rivard, I think. Oh, Rivard follows it, and there it is, folks. Tyler Rivard, 48 points. And if my calculations are correct, folks, that is a new Wildcat record in points. Tyler Rivard, 48 on the evening, folks. I just can't even believe, I've never seen that in person by a high school, like by a Division III high school player. I've never seen anybody score that many points. 80 to 58, 212 left to go in the game. Enosburg here has had a very, very good fourth quarter though. Very, very good fourth quarter. Shot the ball extremely well. To give Hazen, you know, what has been, I think, their closest game of the year. With Enosburg down by 22. Enosburg, I think, you know, folks, they're gonna, you watch, they're gonna surprise some people with what they do in D2. I think this is a pretty good ball team here at Enosburg, so really, really watch out for them, folks. I think they can make a run at, a run towards the Barry Odd in D2. Obviously you got powerhouse Montpelier at the top of the division, but other than that, everything's really up to really up for grabs. Rivard remains in the game as he has his quest for 50, 5-0, 50 points. Now Antillian with it. Antillian wanted a handoff for Gleason. Now he'll find him on the bounce pass. Inside he's fouled. Ooh, Gabe Mitchell. That's foul number three for him. So now both teams are in the bonus. So Gleason's going to head to the line and shoot a one and one. Ooh, Gleason, first one no good. Rivard with the rebound. Oh, was just looking for Baker. Wasn't really looking for anything else. Nice fake there by Colburn. Inside scores it. Braden Colburn with two on the evening. Oh, Baker. Nice fake float piece up no good. Ooh, Rivard, you know he wanted that one, but he, he saw Gabe Mitchell get the rebound, so he's like, I'll let the kid have it. Gabe Mitchell's heading to the line for two. That foul is going to be on Vaughn Wild, his third. Ooh, Gabe Mitchell, a little heavy on that first free throw. 137 left to go in the game, an 80 to 60 lead for the Hornet, uh, the Wildcats. Second free throw tickled the twine, Gabe Mitchell. Oh, Gleason spins to the rack, throws up, gets it to go. Devin Gleason with 34. Oh, Rivard. Inside gets it to go. Tyler Rivard with a 50 piece. Yes, folks. A 50 piece for Tyler Rivard. I might need to get his autograph after this game. 36 now for Gleason. Nice jump shot there. Told you, the steady, sharp shooting lefty for the Enosburg Hornets. Inside, Rivard. Ooh, another one. Nice fake there by Gabe Mitchell. Devin Gleason picks up his second foul of the evening.
an 83-64 lead for the Wildcats. And Rivard is gonna take a seat to a standing ovation from this Wildcat crowd for 50 points for Tyler Rivard. Are you kidding me, folks? That kid is something special. Gabe Mitchett hit his second. Pretty sure he missed his first. Rivard, we're gonna call him Record Rivard. Baker now, he'll find Moody, he'll tee up the three. Oh, Brendan Moody with six points, the second three of the evening. Quiet night for Brendan Moody, but it's been a quiet night for pretty much everybody on the Wildcats because Rivard has 50. <laughs> Who Gleason tried the bank shot, couldn't get it to go. Nice rebound there by Vaughn Wild. Up off the glass, no good. I think Xavier Hill's just gonna hold this. Yep, he is. So the final tonight from the Wildcat down an 88 to 64 lead or an 88 to 64 win for the Hazen Wildcats over the Enosburg Hornets, but the Enosburg Hornets scored the most points any team has scored on the Wildcats. So that's why I said, look out for Enosburg. Boy, they're a good ball team. Thank you so much. I'm gonna give our sponsors a read just one more time. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. GMTCC.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. Thank you all for joining me. I'm James Salvis. We had Arthur on camera. We will see you guys Friday night back here at the Wildcat Den when the Hazen Wildcats take on their Route 15 rival, the People's Academy Wolves. We'll see you next time.